Hey guys, what's up? It's Jaylac and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. So as you can see from the title, we're going to be talking about when I was fat in high school. So not only fat in high school, but growing up fat and... Or, or, you know, growing up chubby and whatever. And then, yeah, basically my journey of losing weight and then gaining weight over the years up until right now. So I'm 22 years old right now. I just graduated from college. And yeah, it's basically like a little story time timeline of my weight loss and gain situations. So yeah, if we're just gonna be talking about it. It's gonna be pretty chill. My makeup right now, if you guys can tell, is like beat AF because I just posted or no, I not did post, but I just filmed my Valentine's Day look. So yeah, this is what that's for. And I didn't really want to take it off for this video. So I just left it on. But I changed my clothes and put something more comfortable on. And I have my cloud pajamas on right here. So yeah, we're really cozy over here. So if you're interested in an interesting, entertaining, kind of sad sometimes, but also, you know, it ultimately ends up being a good situation. So yeah, if you're interested in the story, then please keep on watching. And yeah, let's just talk about it. I have like notes on my phone because it's just like, it's a lot of things to say because it's literally from when I was a child to now. We're not gonna talk about like in detail of when I was a kid, more so like now, but yeah, I just have like a couple notes and stuff just so I don't forget anything. But yeah, let, let's, let's get into it. Okay, so basically, I have always been like a chubby kid when I grew up and stuff. Like, I was always chubby. I was never, like, I was never skinny. I'm not like that type of person that was skinny and then got fat all of a sudden. Like, not all of a sudden, but like eating a lot and got fat. Like, no, I've always been chubby. So that's just like the way I, like, I've always had big thighs. I've always had like bigger, you know, arms so yeah I've just been chubby okay so as a kid it wasn't like too bad because it was like oh you're so cute you're so chubby you're a little you know a little tub tub cutie whatever right but then like it really got down to okay I'm kind of fat now when I was like in fourth grade or something because that's when I realized that like shit like I'm a lot bigger than all the other girls right so yeah that's when it kind of started but let's move on to middle school because that's when it starts getting like real and Shit. So in sixth grade, I was like primetime fatty. Like I was fat, okay? Like I was like primetime fatty and and this is funny too, but this is like another story. I used to have a mustache. I'm I'm Indian and we are hairy as hell and almost every Indian girl has a mustache whether it's like thin or thick like me. Like my mustache was thick. Like I don't know if you can like imagine me with a mustache, but it was thick, okay? So yeah, and, but that's like a totally different story. So yeah, so I was really, really big in sixth grade and I had a mustache and like all the works, right? So it was bad. And then, yeah, and, and the thing about middle school is that that's when you first are like becoming, you know, you're about to be a teenager, right? And you're growing up more and like you're developing and shit, right? So it's a little bit more tough being bigger than everybody else than it was in elementary school because now it's kind of like, oh, you know, we're wearing cute clothes now and we're doing our hair now. And it's like, everything is more important, you know? And so that's when I really realized like, shit, I am so fat, you know? And another thing I want to point out is that, so I don't know if you guys feel this way, but I definitely feel like back in the day, like when I was in middle school, so I was in middle school, what, like 2009, I finished eighth grade. And then so, eight, seven, six, like 2005, six, right? Back then, and even kind of into high school, people didn't really consider girls who were curvy or thick, what we call now. People don't really consider that cute or, or anything. It was just, I personally feel like back then when I was in middle school, it was either you're skinny or you're not skinny. Because now it's kind of like there's an in-between, there's like your curvy slash thick, right? And that's like its own thing and people really like that now, right? But I don't feel like it was that way back then. Back then I feel like it was either you're skinny or you're not. And then especially in middle school, that's when you're just developing. And so a lot of girls, a lot of girls that I went to school with and probably you went to school with were really skinny at that age. like at. 11, 12, 13, really skinny. And then if you weren't skinny, you were like, 
you were kind of chubby like me or like fat like me. So yeah, I don't really think there was that whole thick thing back then that there is now, which I appreciate now because it's like, I feel more comfortable with myself, but we'll get into that later. And then so yeah, that was sixth grade and those were my thoughts now looking back at sixth grade. But then in seventh grade, I actually lost some weight. So seventh grade, I got braces. I think in the summer before seventh grade, I got braces. And then I also lost like quite a bit weight because I, and when I remember back to the time, what I did was I controlled what I was eating because I, I used to eat and I still eat like a lot of sweets, like a lot, a lot of sweet stuff. And I eat, a, I used to eat a lot. So I remember back then how I lost a lot of my weight in seventh grade was that I controlled what I ate and didn't eat like crazy anymore. So I lost like a good amount of weight. And I'm going to try to put pictures in here if I haven't already, like I'll, I'll put pictures. But yeah, so seventh grade, I was, I got a little thinner. I was still like not cute because I didn't know how to do my hair. I got this really ugly haircut that was like too short and uneven and it was just like the works. Okay. So yeah, that was seventh grade. I lost a little bit of weight. And then eighth grade, I was like skinnier. Like I was actually thinner. But then again, it went back to in eighth grade looking back now I would say my body was really nice. Like it was it was a nice body Like I wasn't I wasn't fat and I wasn't skinny. I've never been skinny So I was just like I was curvy and you know for for a kid back then like I wasn't like super curvy like I am now but I was like, you know, like thicker than the skinny girls and Back then, it was still, I would, I would think in my head, like, oh, no, I'm fat. No, I'm fat. I'm not as fat as I was in sixth grade, but I'm, like, fat. So maybe if we had the mentality that we have now, that, like, because now it's, like, thick. Every, like, a lot of people appreciate thick girls and curvy girls, and, and a lot of people, like, want that and stuff, right? So I think if that appreciation existed back then, or at least for me, then it would have been a little bit easier to live in my body and not be so self-conscious. But I don't feel like it was that way back then in like 2008 or whatever so yeah and then okay so moving on to high school so then comes ninth grade and ninth grade I'm gonna admit like I thought I was cute in ninth grade like I honestly I'm gonna say like I thought I was cute I thought I was a little cutie in ninth grade I started doing my hair a lot better like I started getting like good at doing my hair like you know waving it and curling it and all that and like straining it and it would it looked nice and I finally figured out how to do my bangs like according to the times you know I learned how to do a bangs and I thought it was like kind of cute or whatever so and yeah and then I started dressing better too so I kind of like ditched the Aeropostale American Eagle Abercrombie kind of thing and then I started wearing nice like cute clothes you know like I started wearing like shorts and like jean shorts sometimes and uh, dresses and stuff and leggings and and like that cute stuff right so I thought it was like cute or whatever so that was so ninth grade was not too bad. I didn't really think that I was like hella fat or anything. But then, then comes 10th and 11th grade. And this is where it got bad. It got like really, really bad. So when I was in 10th and 11th grade, I gained a lot of weight, like a lot. You guys like are not gonna believe this, but, and a lot of people don't. Like, when I meet new people and like we start, you get to start talking about it. And I tell them, they're like, oh, no way. Like, you you weren't that fat. You're just exaggerating, whatever. But, I mean, I'm going to post these pictures, you know. I was, I was really big in 10th and 11th grade. Like, really, really big. I've never been that big in my whole life up until that point. And what happened was I started eating fast food almost every single day, you guys. Like, every single day I started eating fast food. And that's honestly, and, and the rest of the food I would eat dur during the day and stuff wasn't good either, like chips and cookies and all that stuff. I just did not think about what I was eating and I just, you know, slowly started gaining more and more and more and more weight. And then all of a sudden it's like, you know, 10 and 10th and 11th grade and I'm fat as hell, like literally fat as hell. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I was so big and it was so uncomfortable and then that's when 10th and 11th grade is when I got stretch marks on my hips and that I have to this day because of that. 
And it was when I got the stretch marks. So when I first started seeing the red stretch marks on, because when stretch marks first come, they're red. And then after a while, they turn like white-ish. And so when I first started seeing the red lines like on my, on my hips, I was like, what the hell? Like, what the hell? Like, what the actual hell is this? Because I was like, oh my God, like I, I thought only pregnant ladies get stretch marks, right? That was me like 15, being an idiot. And so I, I was like really shocked, like that really shocked me. And I was like, oh my God, that's when I realized that, oh my God, like I probably have gained so much weight. This is when you look at yourself every single day, you don't see, you don't see that like big, big difference but when you start to look at pictures and stuff you're like oh shit you know it's it's like oh my god I've gained a lot of weight and it's just crazy because I just can't believe that I was like that big and and just unhealthy you know it wasn't just that I was fat or anything it was it was like I'm really unhealthy and so yeah and then so as far as the whole what people thought of me back then, you know, because that's a big thing Like people can be really mean. But so what I remember in high school is that no one was really that mean to me about my weight. Like no one, the girls weren't like, you know, like in the movies, like, oh my gosh, you're so fat. You know, I bet people said that behind my back and shit, but I I'm sure they did. But no one ever said that to my face or, or it had never co come back to me, right? So the type of kid that I was in high school, so you know how there's like the popular kids and then like the kids, like the quieter kids who just like do their own thing, you're right? And then there's the people in the middle. I feel like I was the people in the middle because I like knew everybody, but I didn't like hang out with the popular kids whatsoever. I didn't hang out with them, but I knew them and they were my friends and we would hang out in class and stuff. And you know, it was like that kind of a thing, but I wasn't popular. I, w I was by no means popular. I was just kind of in the middle. I was like that kid in the middle. And then also in high school, I was kind of more like rough. I would say I, I kind of was I, I wasn't like mean but I was kind of more rough and I think the fact that I was big like really big and I'm five six so it does like kind of tall so the fact that I was like kind of big and tall and like I had that kind of rough personality at the time I think a lot of people were honestly just afraid of me and that's like facts because I know people were and they didn't want to say shit to me and so I mean which is like okay at the time but like I feel bad because I'm like I'm, I'm not mean you know but yeah so no one really said anything to me so in regards to that it wasn't like I had a bad experience with don't get me wrong people have called me fat and people and all that but that's like a different story but in high school, not really. So yeah, kids were pretty cool. And then in 10th grade, I was on the field hockey team. And I remember like clearly my field hockey team was hella dope because they always, like they were, there was like a couple girls, like like two or three girls who always pushed me and encouraged me because when we would do like exercises, like running around the track and stuff, like I thought, like, cause I didn't realize I was so big at the time. So I thought I could do it, but like I was so big and unhealthy that it was hard for me to like run like the other girls did and and when we would do miles together like we did this whole like mile like as a team where you like you you're in a line and the last person sprints up and then you, blah, blah blah right and so I clearly remember um some of the girls like two or three of the girls were really encouraging and they always like I don't know they always encourage me and that like makes me feel really good because they didn't like I don't know they just didn't make fun of me you know so that was really cool and yeah, so that was just like a side memory. But the thing that got bad was that I started thinking that I was like really, really fat. And I was, I was. But at that time, I had like no self-confidence. Like I, I had some self-confidence, like some, I shouldn't say none, but I had some. It really, really got like shut down when I realized I was really big and when I got the stretch marks. And then, so, where it got bad is that I started, and I don't think I've ever told anyone this because it's just like uncomfortable, you know? But in 11th grade, I would like sometimes, sometimes I would think about it, I'd be like, okay, how can I lose weight like quicker, you know? How can I lose weight so in like tomorrow I can look thinner or like in a week I can lose like 10 pounds, right? And so, Honestly, like the, I don't think I've ever told anybody this, but honestly, there was a couple times, like a couple, like multiple times, where I would sit in front of the toilet 
on the ground, like on my knees, I was sitting in front of the toilet and I tried to make myself throw up. Like no lie, I tried to make myself throw up. And because honestly, like I was so, so just embarrassed of what I look like and so uncomfortable living in my own skin. And I forgot to mention, I had a bunch of acne in 10th and 11th grade, that's when I had the most acne. Like, you wouldn't believe it. Like, and I don't even know if I have close enough pictures so you could see the acne, but like, ag like severe acne. I did take Accutane to make it go away, and the Accutane is a really, really strong drug that you get prescribed by a dermatologist. So yeah, so I was big on top of that. I had so much acne. And so, yeah, I was just so, I did not like myself. I didn't like my body. And so I would sit in front of the toilet, like on the ground, on my knees, and I would like put my fingers in my mouth and try to make myself throw up. Like it was so, I look back and I feel so sad for myself because that's not how I feel now. That's definitely not how I feel. And I would never do that now. But it makes me sad that back then I was like at such a low point that I thought that I had to do that. And so, yeah, I would, but it never happened. It never happened. I was too scared to throw up. And so I never actually threw up. And so it wasn't like a, a reoccurring thing that I would actually throw up. I never actually threw up because I, I was afraid to throw up. And, and maybe something in the back of me was like, you don't have to do this, you know? And so, yeah, I, but that happened multiple times. Multiple times I would be sitting there on the ground, like in front of the toilet, trying to throw up because I thought that that would be the way Way that I could lose weight and so I could feel better about myself but it's not so if you're in that situation honestly that is don't do that don't do that okay that is not what you want to do that's not the way to go and if you're in that place like please don't do that and you can always message me like on Instagram and stuff I'm always like open to talk about it and stuff because I know there's young girls and older girls and girls my age and older that go through this still and people don't have like that self-awareness until a lot later and so it can be tough and so then comes 12th grade okay 12th grade is when I lost so much weight you guys I lost like 20 pounds like 20 25 pounds I lost so much weight and this is how I did it I I didn't exercise at all because I don't I just don't know why I just didn't exercise but I lost like 20 pounds solely by fixing my diet like solely by fixing my diet I started eating like I started eating three times a day only and then snacks in between. I think I had like two snacks in between. So I would wake up, eat cereal, and then I, for a snack I would have a banana and almonds. And then later in the day I would have a, like a little um, English muffin with raisins in it and put uh, almond butter spread and honey on top and then I'd have that. And then I would, if I got hungry, I would eat like carrots and stuff. And then for dinner I would eat this like bagel sandwich with chipotle sauce and then a uh, turkey in it and so that's what I would eat and that's what I ate for the longest time like months you guys like months and and I started losing weight like I started losing weight I ended up losing a lot of weight and it was crazy like I was getting so skinny and it was good because I wasn't I wasn't hurting myself I wasn't like starving myself either it but I will say if I did if I had to do that now I wouldn't to I wouldn't necessarily stick to that diet because that was just me like I didn't I made that diet up I started eating things that I thought would be helpful and like limiting things that I thought but if I did this now I would probably eat a little bit more I would eat more but it would still be healthy food but I wouldn't like eat as little as I did I, as I did then but but it wasn't like I was starving myself I wasn't but yeah, so then I started losing like hell of weight. And by the time that spring came around, so like when you wear like tank tops and stuff, you know, I started um, like wearing my clothes that had stopped fitting me in 10th and 11th grade from 9th grade. And I started wearing those clothes again. I was feeling cute. Like, and people would tell me like girls and some guys would tell me like, you lost a lot of weight and, and one time I was wearing a tank top and one of my friends was like you look really good and I could tell because you're you're just like your your body like your arms and everything looks smaller and you look great and I was like oh my god thank you and so that paid off and 12th grade was a good year because I lost a lot of weight and I wasn't feeling bad anymore I wasn't feeling ugly I wasn't feeling like fat or anything I was just like feeling good and it was such a great time 
And so, okay, I think I'm gonna cut the video here because the rest of the portion of my like timeline is from starting college till now. So this video is already, I can, I can tell it's like really long. So I don't wanna make this video like 40 minutes, that's, that's crazy. But so I'm gonna cut it here. And so this will be part one and then I'll have a part two that I'll upload like in a couple days. And that will be like um, me from college, like freshman year of college to now. And so, yeah, I just want to split this video because it's going to be too long, girl. I'm like, it's going to be really too long. But what I want to end this video with is that it is okay to gain weight and lose weight. It's okay for your weight to fluctuate, but once you've reached the point of you don't like yourself anymore, that's when you, you really have to think to yourself, okay, I need to make a change. Like I need to make a change and you gotta like think strategically, like what is that change gonna be? And if you can't think of it on your own, like Google stuff, you know, watch YouTube videos. There's like a lot of things out there that can help you figure out ways of what you can do to change. Talk to somebody, talk to like your best friend, your friends, your family or somebody, you know? And if you don't feel comfortable doing that, like I said, you could DM me. I'm willing to talk about it because I know how it feels to hate yourself and to hate the way you look. And it's a terrible feeling. But but what I'm gonna talk about more in, in part two is my like self-awareness of of myself and the appreciation I have for myself and my body. So we're gonna talk about that in part two. So please stay tuned for that. And sorry I couldn't include it in one video, but I just got like to talk in. And yeah, there's just like so much to say because literally from, you know, being a kid to now. So it's a lot of stuff that goes into it. But yeah, if you're still here and you're still watching this, then I'm so glad you are. And thank you so much for watching and for, yeah, just for listening to the story time. I hope it was like interesting and you know if you're in that situation like I said reach out to somebody and try to find a way you know to change but yeah I hope it was entertaining and I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys learned something and it, you know now you know a little bit more about me so if you didn't know anything about me then now you know this and yeah in part two we'll talk about my college years to now so if you're in like the age group of like 18 to 25 ish then maybe part two will resonate a little bit more with you but yeah thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for listening and yeah, I'm just so glad you guys are here and we're talking about this. So if you have any questions, comments, anything, leave them down below or you can DM me privately. Um, my Instagram will be below too. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for part two. That'll be in like a couple days, like two days. And yeah, guys, I will see you guys next time.